Welcome to the Crazy Head Chemist. So another video on gases. Bam! So today we're talking about the mercury barometer. Okay? An invention that is of epic proportion. Okay? The barometer is like a thermometer. A thermometer is closed at both ends, whereas the barometer is closed at one end and open at the other end. Okay? So here's how you make a mercury barometer. You take a glass tube that's closed at one end. Okay? You fill the tube with mercury. Just pour in the mercury. Put your finger over it and invert it. Okay? And you invert it in a pool of mercury. Okay? That pool of mercury is open to the atmosphere. Okay? The open end of the glass tube is now in the pool of mercury. Okay? And the atmospheric pressure will push on the pool of mercury and then therefore consequently push the uh, mercury up the tube. Okay? Now, the mercury has fallen from the tube and uh, that is elemental mercury, so it is mercury. It's a liquid because it's at room temperature. There's a vacuum in the upper end of that tube because originally it was completely filled with mercury and then it was inverted into a pool of mercury and then it dropped down. It dropped down to, well, the height of the mercury is 760 millimeters. So this is the reason why we have the units of millimeters of mercury. So it's MMHG and the unit is 760 millimeters of mercury. Okay. All right, now this is a water barometer in quotes and a water barometer would have to be a height of 10,744 millimeters. So why do we not use a uh, water barometer? Well, it's because we would need a tube that's 10,744 millimeters long. That is quite high. Whereas a mercury barometer is short enough that it can do the same thing and fit within a classroom situation. So this is the mercury barometer that was designed by the original designer, and this is Evangelista, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, Torricelli. Okay? And he was a student of Galileo, an inventor of the mercury barometer. Okay? Such an awesome invention. Okay? Uh, everybody who studies weather, they use the mercury barometer. Okay, and why is 760 millimeters of mercury equal to 760 tor? Because it's 760 torricelli. Unbelievable. All right, so that's another video from the Crazy Hat Chemist, and here is a crazy hat. I love this hat. It keeps my head warm, and you know that I don't have very much hair, so it's got to keep it warm. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to see you next time for more cool chemistry videos. Bye now.